Are you currently lying on the floor, possibly bleeding out, and wondering if you're gonna live? Just stay with me for 30 seconds, keep a zip tie handy, and I'll show you how it could save your life and keep you out of the emergency room. Hi everyone, I'm John, the science guy, and I'm so glad that you're still alive. Thanks for sticking with me. Now, how many times has this happened to you? Maybe you've reached into a drawer, happened to me, and when you reach in that drawer, all the knives are supposed to be in their proper sheaths, but either your cleaning lady or someone else inadvertently puts the knife back on a slight angle. And what happens when you put your hand in that drawer reaching for something else? A laceration right down your finger. And oh, although it's not painful, it's a little bit discomforting to know that you've just cut your finger and then seconds later, all this blood is gushing out of it. Should I go to the emergency room? Should I wash it? Well, first of all is yes, you should definitely put it under some warm water and use some antiseptic and make sure that you can clean the cut. Next, if you're one of these people that thinks you're just gonna hold the finger or do this over your head, well, you could do that all you want, but I can tell you with that kind of cut going really deep into your finger, it's not gonna stop because you've done more than just cut the surface of your skin. You've gone into one of the blood vessels. All right, so it's really simple. All you need to do is you're going to, after you've cut, all you need to do is just take a piece of paper towel and fold it like so. So we're gonna kind of make our own little bandage. And we're gonna take that and we're going to wrap that around our finger, just like so, okay? Now, the tricky part is that you're gonna do this in the air. And the reason you're gonna do it in the air is because less blood flow will happen. Then you're just gonna take this zip tie and you're gonna pull it really tight. And you're gonna keep this up there for at least 30 to 40 minutes. Now that's not really long because the blood will not flow up as much as if you had it down. And just try to relax, take a deep breath, have a glass of water or what have you. And what you're gonna notice in probably about 20 to 30 minutes, maybe less, the blood is gonna basically stop oozing out. Now you might have to change this, the dressing, and put it back a couple times. What you're going to eventually realize is that, hey, the blood has stopped. And then you can take it down, but leave this tourniquet that you put on your finger, this homemade tourniquet that could save your life because you can bleed out from so many different parts of your body. If one of your vessels is actually damaged that deeply, it's not easy to stop the blood flow. So just holding it over your hand and pinching, it's not gonna be enough. So creating this little temporary type of tourniquet is a great solution. And this was actually invented in 1958. They're called tie wraps, and they were used to help contain the wires on an airplane. Now, the tie wraps that they, they have, Norma would seal, you can't take them off. So whenever you're making yourself a little bit of a tourniquet, make sure you have the ones like this, that when you put the one piece through, okay, it tightens up. But there's also a little piece here and you can very easily pull it out. Now, when you pull this out, it might be a little sore. Relax, you'll be fine. You've been putting pressure on that vessel for a while. And usually this will stay on your finger um, for probably a couple hours. So while you've had up here for at least 15 to 30 minutes, you bring it back down, but you don't take this off. Later on, a couple hours later, you see if the blood has actually stopped to even trickle a little bit. And if it has, take it off, put another dressing on, put it back on nice and tight, leave it on there, maybe even for the rest of the day. And you'll see that you'll create a nice, deep, naturally healed 
And this, my friends, will, yes, save your life and you won't need to go to the hospital. And I just healed my finger. And thanks for sticking with me and thanks for staying alive. You know, I also share this with you for another important point. And that's the fact that in our lives, sometimes we just need a quick zip on something so that we can stay compartmentalized and focus on our goals and achieve that success. I am John the Science Guy. Thanks so much and I hope that I kept you alive. And if I did, would you do me a favor? Like, love, support the channel. Hey, I kept you alive. Click on that bell notification icon, smash the subscribe button, and tell me how much you're enjoying these videos. And then be sure to click on that PayPal link, make the choice to buy my team and I a hot beverage, a fresh bowl of fruit, or a savory dessert. And we'll invest those pennies that you give us into new hardware, technology, equipment, software, even new facilities to keep you healthy, to keep you motivated, to keep you inspired, to be on the path to achieve greatness and have success every day of your life. I am John the Science Guy. Check out Believe Me Achieve for more videos, not just science, that can literally revolutionize your life like that. I'll see another video real soon.